This is the ESAM 4350 uh, from DeLonghi. It has a problem sometimes, and it says on page 18 empty circuit, fill circuit, empty circuit, fill circuit. This is a persistent problem sometimes. Uh, the answer to this, it doesn't say in this booklet, is to look at the filter. You don't get too much help from the company. If you buy on the internet, they ask for the receipt, which of course you don't have. Anyway, you change the filter, or clean the filter in my case, and it's down here below the tank. All you have to do is to undo the two screws on the back here, and take the panel off and then you can get a filter quite easily. You can buy filters from this company here. I'm not advertising them though. But what I did was I cleaned the filter in my case and it worked perfectly ever since. Makes a beautiful cup of coffee with using Baileys and a cappuccino. Beautiful. But no thanks to the company in the UK when it comes to help. Okay, so I'll make sure it's safe, take the plug out, undo the two screws on the side. There's six screws, you can take the both panels off if you want to, but in case of the filter all you need to do is to undo these two screws. Two screws holding in the back on and two screws holding in the other side on. Best thing to do is to get rid of all the peripherals, undo the front, take out the tray, the grouts tray, commonly called the grounds tray, the water tank, and close the door back up so you can get at things without knocking them. Slide it back down on its side. We've undone those two screws. All we have to do now is slide it back a little bit. About half an inch maybe. And then there's a hook just here. It has to be far enough to come on down off that. And then you should be able to lift it out. A little bit twisty twisty. But that they hook on there. When they're back firing off it on the hooks, then you can lift the whole thing out, take it away. Stand it back on the and you can now see that there's a filter here. The water from the tank comes through the black tube and through the filter and onto the clear tube. This one you can pull apart, there's a little arrow somewhere, I can't see it right now, it's a tiny filter, yes there is, there's an arrow facing that way, it's actually facing the wrong way. I assume it comes from the tank and goes that way and the filter should be facing the other way. However, it works perfectly well. Uh, all I did was take this off, undo those, blow water through it in both directions and cleared it. I couldn't see anything in there. Um, Possibly there was some oil in there, but it's the tiniest of filters and anything will sort of stop it, I suppose. However, it now works perfectly well just by cleaning it. I have got a spare from that company if, if I need it. I also got the, the stuff to, uh, to scale it with as well. They were pretty good at that too. Okay, that's about that. Put the side back on, the right hand side this is, and hook it back in there about half an inch from the closed position and then manipulate this back onto here somehow. And then good luck, no, I'm really right, gotta be on there. And then it should 
slide back in like that. Turn the two screws back in, and that should be that. Turn the screws up, not too tightly because they're only plastic backs. Back in, hold the door open and push the drop straight in, close it up, fill the tank, put it back in. Now we are ready for another cup of coffee. Wheeled Dale is absolutely wonderful.